Do you use MailerLite for your CRM? Well, let me show you how you can integrate it with JotForm workflows. Hey JetFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And like I mentioned, if you utilize MailerLite for your CRM, you can absolutely integrate it with JotForm workflows to make things so much easier for you and save you a lot of time. So for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and head up to the top left-hand corner. We're currently in my forms. I'm gonna jump over into my workflows. Then we'll choose to create a workflow. And for this example, I'm gonna choose a one-step approval process. And one thing I love about approvals or these workflows is this bird's eye view of everything. So up at the top, we see we have the starting point. It's gonna be a form. Once they complete that form, it goes to an approver. Then we can either approve or deny, and then the workflow ends. So let's go ahead and choose a form for this top one. Now I went ahead and created a brand new form just for this one called MailerLite. It's basically just their name and their email, but if you need to create a form, you can always create a new one right up here from scratch. I'll go ahead and add that in. So now let's choose our recipients and we're gonna pull from our form fields, that email for both. And you can see once that email is chosen, that red box goes away and we are good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this down and I'm gonna delete the link from our approved side because we want to go on the left hand side and we want to bring in that mailer light integration so right down here for mailer light we have add a subscriber we can drag and drop and we can add those links back really easily so let's go ahead and complete those settings now if this is your first time integrating your mailer light account with JotForm, you're going to need to authenticate your account but after you do so you'll be taken to the screen of course mailer light is going to need their email so that's going to be the first one that's going to come up we can also add that field and go ahead and pull their name perfect Next, we need to select a group to add those subscribers to. I'm gonna go ahead and add it to our new customer. And if you want, you can update an existing contact. We'll go ahead and leave that checked. Let's go ahead and save. And we are good to go. I'm gonna head up to our publish tab and let's open in a new tab and give this a test. And we'll submit. Now, as the approver in this process, I'm going to get an email from JotForm to let me know that, hey, you have a form that needs to be approved or denied. But since I'm already in JotForm, I can come up here to the top left-hand corner. We can click on Workflow Builder and jump over into our inbox. And we can see right here, we have John Smith, action required. I can review his information. And if I agree that it is approved, I can go ahead and approve right down here. And since we have that integration with MailerLite, it's going to let us know that, hey, you have some integrations running right here, waiting for those integrations. And one of my favorite things about this is you don't have to go over into MailerLite to try to find this new contact. JotForm is gonna give you a direct link. So I'm gonna go ahead and click right here. And here is John Smith. And it is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to integrate your JotForm workflows with MailerLite, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.